Well, happy Friday to you. Faith Pocatello Daily here. It's the 27th of October, 2023. So, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 13. In him you also, when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and believed in him, were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit. Listen, this is something that is wonderful for us to know, that we now have been given the very Spirit of God. Listen, before you, know, you received Christ and the, and the salvation that he so longs to give and, and generously offers, uh, we, we did battle, but our battle was because of a guilty conscience. It wasn't because there was a battle between the flesh and the spirit. Well, now we're caught between the flesh and the spirit, which is proof that you are God's child. And as Paul says in Romans chapter 7, I keep doing the things that I don't want to do, the things that I want to do, I find myself not doing. Oh, who can save me? Well, Jesus Christ can. And so the Holy Spirit is always leading you into triumphal victory. And so one of the things that we realize is that we cannot live this Christian life, this holy life, without something outside of us entering in and doing that work within us. And God has been so gracious to give us the spirit to move and direct our lives. And so when we look at situations, when we start thinking about things, we sit there and we can sit there with the Holy Spirit and go, does this bring glory to my flesh or does this bring glory to the Lord? And if we can pause and listen to the spirit, we can go, okay, uh, I want to bring glory to the Lord, which means I have to deny my flesh. So he has gifted you that spirit. He sealed you with that spirit. That is the guarantee that you are are his child and that you will be in heaven with him. Much as we see in baptism, we see we are adopted, we're sealed with the spirit because we've, we've asked the spirit to come in. And so we place that oil upon the forehead and whatnot and say, the spirit is yours and he is leading you to triumph and glory in Christ. So take heart and be encouraged. You are his, not by any work of your own, but by the complete and generous, loving, merciful, and gracious work of God through Christ. So may God richly bless your day. Enjoy Jesus. Go and share life.